What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with my telescope. And so today I'm, or tonight actually, I'm going to be showing you how to align the telescope, which you might know, you might not. If you don't, it's going to be pretty helpful. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so now that you got your remote, all that you got to do is press enter twice. Enter in your longitude, latitude, time zone, elevation, the date, um, time, a few other things, but I'll get back to that really quickly. So first I'm just going to fill in this info and then I'll be back. So now that you've filled in your info, all that you got to do is press 1 to begin your alignment. And then this is the part where it's a little annoying and you can get a little messed up. So you have to align your telescope with two stars, which isn't actually that, sim that simple, but it could be a little annoying. So to select your, your stars, you have to go through all the different locations in the sky. So I'm going to be doing Eastern Sky for my alignment. So you scroll through till you get to Eastern, which is what I'm going to be doing. You don't have to do Eastern, you just do whatever location has the brightest star. So you do Enter. Sirius, like right there, that is the brightest star that we can see, I think. So I'm going to use that. So what you have to do is use your alignment scope to line your telescope up with that star, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So this thing right here is the alignment scope, and over there is Sirius. So I'm going to be aligning my, this with Sirius over there after it focuses. I guess that's kind of good enough. You get the point. So now using the buttons on your um, on your telescope remote, you can move the telescope to align the star with your telescope. So I'm gonna do that right now. So you can see that's kind of good, but I'm just gonna perfect it right now and then I'll go to the next thing. So now that you think that you have your star line like I do right now, you're going to have to press enter and then perfect that through your eyepiece, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so I just aligned Sirius with my telescope. So now if I put my phone up to the lens, you could easily see that it's the brightest thing right there. So now you have to press enter on that once it's like perfectly aligned with the center. And then, I, and then you have to do a second star. So now that you've aligned your first star, you have to align your second. So once you press enter, you're gonna give a list, you're gonna be given a list of a bunch of the stars that you should be able to see. So to make sure that nothing's blocking what, like the star that you wanna use, you could use an app, I recommend like Sky Safari or something like that, to like see if that star is something that would work. So. I'm just gonna scroll through, find one that fits me, and then I will show you how to do a second. So I've chosen Shuratinen, or however you pronounce that, because it is somewhere up there, not being blocked by anything. Maybe a tree might be in the way, but I don't think it will. So I'm just gonna press enter on that, and then your telescope should move it right towards that object, like that. So once that is in the location, I'll get back and continue. So I have aligned Sheratonin with my telescope, I think, and it should be about the brightest star that you could see when you align it. It probably won't be right in the middle, like as soon as you press enter, but you're going to have to move around to find it just like you did with your first star. So. It's about up there, that's just the light, and so now once you press enter, alignment successful. So now it's just going to tell you a couple things, and then you can get right into looking for objects like Andromeda, or Nebula, or Mars, or any star that you want. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope that you enjoyed, and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.